Hi. Skippy Simon here. I have a question for everybody. Has your family been ruined by Trump? Mine has. It's Mother's Day. And uh, my mom, I left her a message, didn't call back, but that's fine. We had a falling out a couple days ago. We've been having falling outs my entire life. But this, I mean, ever since this asshole showed up, my family has been fucking weird. I try to remain a sane individual. I don't give a fuck about politics. I'm not going to today or tomorrow, because I didn't yesterday, so doesn't matter. It doesn't mean shit to me, okay? I personally think the American two-party system is as it was stated in the liner notes of Dillinger 4's album, This Shit is Genius. The American two-party system is like being offered the piss soup or the shit cake. That's pretty much it. What I don't understand is why Americans treat politics like it's sports. And because both these teams are losers. Okay, I'm not for either team. Both of them don't mean shit to me. Never have, never going to. And it's sad that America doesn't wake up and get more parties to represent their interests. Because that's the one thing I never understood about politics, or at least the democracy we have here in America. I see, like right now, we have all these commercials out for all these people here in Los Angeles who are running for offices, and I don't know you. Like, we elect complete strangers to make decisions for us. No. No, I can make decisions for myself. It's pathetic. You know, I live in this third world nation called Hollywood, California, where we're all this rampant homelessness. They're trying to kick me out of my apartment because I'm under rent control. You know, it's like, because these fucking rich people just aren't rich enough. I mean, America has the best democracy that money can buy, and it's been proven over and over and over again. It's fucking sad. That's why I want no part of it. But... Ever since Trump showed up, my parents have been fucking weird, and my older brother, as far as I'm concerned, is a lost cause. I don't know if he believes in that QAnon shit, but I do know that he was at the Capitol on the 6th, and I know that he uses uh, an app that, I think it's Signal, that a lot of right-wingers use because they can't trust the app on their phone. Because they're mental. And I know that's what a lot of QAnon people use. And I hope he's not down in Dallas, Texas waiting for JFK Jr. to show up. Because fuck. That's the one thing I do want to say. Thank you, Donald Trump, for exposing the huge educational and mental health crisis we have here in America. Your supporters are proof that education and mental health need a lot more funding. Period. You know, my, my, I understand why my mother is all Republican, because she's racist. I'm not. She is. I've lived all over the world. I've accepted people as people. And if you're an asshole, then boom, you're an asshole. The only people I'm racist against are racists. And I deserve to be racist against racists, because I been I grew up as an anti-racist skinhead. I was part of the Sharp Movement, Skinheads Against Racial Prejudice. I was part of the uh, anti-racist action. You know, we used to, me and my friends used to go out and beat up Nazi motherfuckers on the weekends. Because they deserve it, you know? 
I don't understand why there's such a huge white power Nazi bullshit going on in America. Didn't we defeat those jagoffs in fucking Second World War? Now you want to have that shit here? But what a lot of Republicans don't understand, and a lot of Americans don't understand, that the Republican Party has been trying to overthrow the government for a long, long time. Um, back in, I think it was the 1930s, there was a gentleman by the name of General Smedley Butler, who was pretty much elected as the figurehead to help overthrow the American government, but he came out with a book called War is a Racket. If you haven't read it, do yourself a favor and read it. It is made by a major general, Major General Smedley Butler, who served during the First World War and was a war hero. You should read it. Um, because Prescott Bush and a bunch of corporations, you know, Prescott Bush, he was grandfather to George Herbert Walker Bush and G.W. Bush, uh, he, they tried overthrowing the government so they could install a fascist dictatorship. And that's kind of what they wanted to do with Trump. And I just want to let you know, all you Republican, conservative, Christian jihadists out there, that if you like your First Amendment right to go yell at somebody at Dairy Queen, if you like your Second Amendment right to own a gun because you think guns can scare off COVID, if you enjoy all of these constitutional rights, guess what? They won't be there if the Republicans take over, period. Because they will just use the Constitution as kindling. Say goodbye to everything. Say goodbye to all your freedom of speech. Say goodbye to your guns. Say goodbye to your property. Say goodbye to everything. You know, you got to start thinking outside the box. But unfortunately, you're trapped in a box called television. You believe everything you see on television, don't you? These pathetic echo chambers they call news outlets. They're not news. They're what's called infotainment. 24-hour brainwashing. If you don't think television is a form of brainwashing, then why are TV shows called programs? I gotta watch my programming tonight. Yeah, think about it. That's, I think, what caused my parents to become so militant was their screen addiction to television. I don't own a TV. You know, I own these machines back here, but I won those at Dave & Buster's because I'm a winner. 80,000 tickets apiece. I'm just good. Besides, I'm giving them to my niece and nephew because I never play them. I just, there's a backdrop right now. But I don't own a TV. And you would never believe how much I don't pay for Netflix, Hulu, or any streaming service every month. My younger brother actually called me one time and he's like, bro, you're never going to believe this. I'm like, what? He's like, I just saved 800 bucks. I'm like, doing what? He's like, I bought this TV on sale. I'm like, how much was it? He's like, $1,200. I'm like, Brad, you're never going to believe this. He's like, what? I'm like, I just saved 1200 bucks. He's like, how'd you do that? I was like, I didn't buy that TV. You know, that's just the illusion of savings. You know, capitalism sucks. They're trying to kick me out of this apartment because capitalism, because they're just not making enough money, these poor, rich bastards. But back on subject, Trump. Ruining my family, okay? My mother, during the Trump administration, has called me every name in the book. Socialist, communist, Marxist. And I even stopped her one time. I go, hey, Mom, why don't you try calling me your son? But she's too blinded by idiocy to see that. And... It's sad, you know, and my father, he just goes along with it. What I don't understand is, like, my dad's Jewish. Why the fuck would you side with the people that say Jews will not replace us? I don't get it. I don't understand black conservatism. I don't understand conservatism, period. Like, what is American conservatism outside of racism, xenophobia, homophobia, Complete and total fear of anyone who isn't white or Christian and Jesus. 
Can you figure that one out? Because that's all I see with conservative values. All they want to do is take rights away from gay people, rights away from minorities, rights away from the LGBTQ, RSTU, VW, XYZ community. And that's the biggest problem I have with these Republican conservatives is they don't seem to realize that if they're going to come for women's rights, if they're going to come for immigrant rights, if they're going to come for gays' rights, your rights are next. Don't even think they won't. And you're just setting yourself up for failure, so... And I'm a veteran. I know, okay? I enjoy my rights. I enjoy being able to talk to people on this stupid little YouTube thing and vent. Because that's what I need to do right now, because I don't understand this fixation with Trump. He's an awful, awful fat fuck. You know, this guy is a rapist. This guy is a swindler. He's a con man. I mean, think about it. Like, he has been able to fail forward all of his life. Okay? All of his businesses have folded. He, he folded the USFL Football League. Okay? He fumbled that ball. His properties. I mean, this guy, how do you bankrupt a casino? Well, this fat asshole figured out a way. Trump stakes, Trump University, you know, all these cons that he has. Plus, you know, whatever they're trying to sell you, gold cards. I mean, you guys are idiots. And like, my older brother, he pretty much disowned me because I made the fatal mistake of asking him to get vaccinated when he went over to go visit my great aunt, who's 93 years old. And he just disowned me. He made up some, What's my body? I can do what I want. Blah, 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 blah. He said this stupid text on Signal. And I'm like, Jason, the only people who use Signal are drug pushers and QAnon. And which one are you? But he disowned me. And we used to have a lot of fun together before Trump. We actually used to go to amusement parks together. We'd go to arcade and film prop auctions and all. We did a lot of fun stuff together, but... I'm the enemy now, because I don't believe in their demagogue. I don't believe in, I don't believe fucking Trump whatsoever, because I have this thing called common sense, you know? That's something they don't teach in church, because if the church taught common sense, there wouldn't be church. But I'm just saddened by all this. And my parents, they have Trump flags in their front yard, and they get notes from our neighbors saying... Take that shit down, dude. That's like an American Nazi flag. All your, I mean, it's true. It's you're just advertising hate every time you put up a Trump flag, because that guy is really anti-American. He's pro-Trump, but he's anti-American. And I happen to be an American. I happen to be a veteran. Something Trump isn't. He has five deferments from Vietnam, because boy, them bows, those bone spurs he had, oh, they sure did hurt back then. But he's on the golf course every goddamn day. But, needless to say, I called my mom on Mother's Day, got the voicemail, and I left her a message. It's the least I could do, trying to be a good son, you know? But, didn't get a call back. Whatevs. Called on my younger brother, they were actually over at his house. So, I know they're around, and I hope they're doing well. But, my mother has, honestly, she's been my enemy the whole my whole life. Which is sad. She still is in denial that I joined the military to get away from her, which I totally did. I was in in-school suspension whenever the recruiter came in. It took all about five minutes before I was like, well, I don't have a girlfriend. I hate it here. They're going to give me a gun. Let me travel the world. Why the fuck not? You know? My, I came home from school that day and my mom was like, so what'd you do in suspension? And I was like, join the army? What'd you do that for? Get away from you? Sad. I wish I had a better relationship with my mother, but I don't. I love my dad, but he's, you know, he's whipped. He's going to believe anything my mom says, anything the TV says, because that's all they do. It's sad how many people have screen addiction. I see it with my niece and nephew just sitting there staring at their tablets when I'm trying to talk to them on the phone or something. That's why I don't own a television set. You know? I want to be able to do stuff. I'm a free-thinking individual, and I like to be free listen to music and just do what I want to do, but I'm going to wind this down.
if anybody else has had their family ruined by Trump, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It really sucks for all of us. Hopefully we'll get through this phase, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for listening.